Okay, in this short video, what I'm going to show you is how to set up your website. I'm going to show you how to get the container div and the four divs which we're going to use to create a website that looks a little bit like this. This will just be um, adaptable according to how you want your website to be laid out. So you might want to have, for example, two images at the top or you might want your links going all the way across. Once you understand the principle of it though, you should be able to adapt it accordingly. So I've opened Dreamweaver and I'm going to click on File, uh, sorry, Create New HTML. You're familiar with this screen. Um, we've got code view, split, and design view. We're going to leave it in split view for now so we can see some of the HTML as it comes together. And what you might need to do is go to view and uh, take off the vertical split. Um, if yours is split vertically, I prefer the horizontal split that you can see here. Uh, it's just how I'm used to working. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is save this page. So file, save as and I'm going to save it into my area I'm going to make a new folder uh, where are we? there we go, make a new folder I'll call it um, year 8 adidas Whoops. website, so I'm going to make a website for adidas and click on open and I'm inside it and the first page of every web page is going to be called index and we click on save you can see the top tab now it's called index okay next thing I'm going to do is file new and this time I'm going to create a cascading style sheet CSS so I'll click create notice how these are greyed out it's not a web page it's a style sheet I'm going to save it file save as it should default back to this folder if it doesn't just browse for it so you can see my index page is there already I'm going to call this style one okay and then I'm going to click on save. Okay, so back to my index page. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come down to my the body of my web page, insert a few lines, and inside the body of the page, I'm going to insert my first div. I'm going to call it uh, div ID equals, I'm going to call it container. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I'm going to call it something that bears some semblance to what it's actually going to be. All right, and of course, don't forget when you open a tag, you need to close it as well. Just to make it easier to, um, for you to see, I'm just going to put a couple of lines in there now, um, and then I'm going to switch over to my style sheet. I'm going to give some style information now for this div. So, hashtag container. Notice how there's no space between the hashtag and the name of the div. Now, it's up to you how you do this now. I'm going to tab across, put in the brace bracket, a couple of lines and the closing brace bracket just to make it look neat and I'm going to click in there and my style information is going to go in this section here and I'm going to give it some width I'm going to give it a width of 960 pixels notice the colon and semicolon I'm going to then give it a height of uh, 600 pixels I'm going to give it a margin left and you can see what happens as you start to type the, the, the sort of auto predictive thing comes up. Uh, I'm going to set that to auto. Don't forget the semicolon. I'm going to have a margin right, which is going to also be set to auto. Don't forget the semicolon. Finally, I'm going to give it a background color. I'm going to, um, let's have a quick look. I'm going to give it a sort of dark, blue, well, a sort of blue, I guess, color there, yeah, like that. And I'm going to click on the uh, semicolon. You'll notice the star here up at the top. That indicates we've done some work but not saved it. So now let's file, save all. And let's go back to our index page. If I just click in this area here, you can see absolutely nothing has appeared. So why might that be? Well, let's go back to our star sheet first of all. Just check it's called hashtag container. We've got the brace brackets. Um, we've got all of that there. We've got all of that here. Can I do a spot? I wonder what the problem is. I've spotted it. Um, just to save a bit of time, the, the problem is there's no link. This index page is not linked to this style sheet. So if we go up to line 7, which is free, it doesn't have to be line 7, it could be line 8, it all depends how it looks, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to put on the information that will link it, so it's uh, angle bracket, link, href. Okay. Um, what we want to type in next uh, is href equals, and now we need the name of the style sheet. Now I could browse for it here and select it and it's put it in. Okay, so I've told it there. I need to put in row equals star sheet. 
like so. You need to make sure that's in uh, speech marks, of course. One there and one there. Okay, good. Uh, next thing is we say type uh, type equals speech marks text forward slash CSS um, speech marks and then we'll just close off this tag as well so, uh, like so right if I save that now file and save look in that area you can see what's happened this div has now come in the web page has read that it needs to link to this style sheet okay here it is it's read that it needs to link to this style sheet the style sheet information tells that div how to appear and if I just go back to my web page and if I click on the preview in Internet Explorer and give it a second to open you can see what I've made here uh, is a big blue div that fills my screen you can play around with the settings if you wanted to make it not as wide or not as high you can play around no problem okay so that is how we set up the first container div